A powerful 4.3 magnitude earthquake has just struck along California's notorious San Andreas Fault, and it may be more than just a random jolt. Scientists are now tracking an alarming rise in earthquake swarms in the region, signaling a possible build-up of stress deep underground. Satellite data and ground sensors show unusual crustal movement, while smaller quakes are clustering near key fault segments that have triggered major events in the past. Experts warn this could be a sign the fault is becoming more active and possibly gearing up for something far bigger. Could this be the start of a seismic chain reaction? And what does it mean for millions living along the fault line? A significant swarm of earthquakes is currently unfolding across multiple locations in Southern California, marking an uptick in seismic unrest that follows tremors recorded just the day prior. Among the most notable events is a magnitude 4.3 earthquake, which was followed by a cluster of more than 60 smaller quakes concentrated near the southern extension of the San Andreas Fault, specifically around the Brawley Seismic Zone. This sudden spike in seismicity may be more than a coincidence, as it occurs within a region where considerable tectonic stress has been accumulating over time. In the early hours of the morning, a magnitude 3.4 event struck around 1 o'clock in the morning, followed roughly two hours later by the more powerful magnitude 4.3 quake. The density and frequency of these quakes suggest active fault movement rather than random seismic noise. Not only is the activity significant in number, over 60 quakes recorded in a compact time frame, it also marks one of the more substantial swarms to affect this area in approximately a year. The current seismic activity is occurring along a complex segment of the plate boundary system, where the Pacific plate grinds against the North American plate. The San Andreas Fault, which dominates this region, is subdivided into several sections, each with its own rupture history. To the north, the fault last ruptured in 1906 during the infamous San Francisco earthquake, meaning over 119 years have passed since that major event. Further south, the Parkfield segment and adjacent creeping zones have not experienced a major rupture in more than 160 years. Most critically, the southern segment, closer to today's swarm, has remained locked since the massive magnitude 7.9 rupture of 1857, now over 213 years ago. This prolonged quiet period is concerning given the tectonic strain that continues to accumulate. Seismic swarms such as this are not unprecedented in Southern California, but the magnitude, geographic spread and clustering pattern, especially across what forms a triangular region between the Brawley Seismic Zone and two other active points, may indicate elevated stress nearing a critical threshold. While it's impossible to predict a major quake with precision, these patterns often act as a warning that the crust is becoming more unstable. With multiple swarms occurring nearly simultaneously across different branches of the San Andreas system, the likelihood of a larger seismic event may be increasing. Along the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault, a geologically significant stretch extends far into Southern California. This segment, clearly outlined by a visible fault trace, represents a section that did not rupture during the powerful magnitude 7.9 earthquake of 1857. The absence of rupture here has major implications for seismic forecasting. When this unbroken section is factored in, scientists estimate that the next major earthquake in the region could reach magnitudes as high as 8.1. Such an event would release significantly more energy than the 1857 quake, increasing both the destructive potential and the urgency for preparedness. This particular stretch of the fault has remained locked and inactive for over three centuries. That prolonged silence is deeply unsettling to seismologists, who understand that longer intervals between ruptures can lead to more powerful earthquakes due to the gradual accumulation of tectonic stress. In a world dominated by rapid information, artificial intelligence and digital uncertainty, one fact remains irrefutable. The geological clock in this part of California is ticking, and it may be edging closer to a violent reset. While the northern portion of the fault experienced its last major rupture in 1906, the southern segment appears far more primed for activity. Over the past year, this region has witnessed a notable uptick in seismic disturbances.
In fact, the number of earthquakes registering magnitude 4.0 and above in 2024 exceeded any annual total since the mid-1980s, marking a clear increase in geologic unrest. Recent seismic swarms occurring near this unruptured southern section have intensified scientific concern. In just the past 24 hours, over 100 earthquakes have been recorded, significantly surpassing the daily average for the region. Many of these tremors exceed magnitude 2.5, including several over magnitude 3.0 and the most powerful reaching magnitude 4.3. Notably, the latest and strongest quake occurred close to this historically locked section, suggesting stress is mounting in an already volatile zone. This isn't just an abstract concern. These tremors cluster near a fault line that has remained silent for 300 years. It's an area where geological energy is building in quiet defiance of human timelines. With each tremor, the Earth signals its readiness to move again making this moment one of critical awareness and urgent preparation. The time to act is not after the fault breaks, it's now, while the warnings are still rumbling below the surface. Scientists have closely monitored the Parkfield segment of the San Andreas Fault, where a magnitude 3.2 earthquake was recently recorded. This specific section is recognized for producing magnitude 6.0 earthquakes at fairly regular intervals, approximately every 20 to 22 years. The last significant quake there occurred in 2004, placing the region squarely within its typical recurrence window. More concerning, however, is the seismic potential further south along the San Andreas Fault. The southern section, which has remained locked for over 300 years, carries a much higher level of strain accumulation. While the central segment experienced a major rupture during the 1857 earthquake, the southern branch has not released significant energy in more than three centuries. Based on geological assessments, large earthquakes in this southern segment typically occur every 140 to 160 years. That interval has already been exceeded, indicating the potential for a major event is growing increasingly likely. Scientists and geologists drawing from decades of field data and fault behavior modeling point out that nearly all segments of the fault from Parkfield down to the southern end have surpassed their average earthquake recurrence thresholds. While the northern portion of the San Andreas remains within its expected quiet phase, the central and southern sections have built up a level of tectonic pressure that could result in a significant release. Adding to the concern is the recent rise in low to moderate magnitude earthquakes across the broader region, including fault zones near Bakersfield, the Malibu Coast Fault and the Puente Hills Thrust Fault. These faults had remained relatively quiet for extended periods, but are now showing signs of renewed activity. The pattern suggests a regional increase in tectonic stress and crustal movement, which could be a precursor to a larger rupture. The coastal ranges to the north have also begun to exhibit increased strain energy, signalling that this may not be an isolated phenomenon. Many experts are considering reissuing heightened seismic advisories for Southern California, given the cumulative evidence. With so many interconnected fault systems displaying elevated seismic behaviour, the region may be approaching a critical threshold. The build-up of pressure and the absence of major energy release point to a growing risk of a significant earthquake in the near future. While the Bay Area remains unusually quiet for now, this is not uncommon, as seismic energy in the region tends to fluctuate, often intensifying around the Garlock Fault shear zone and extending southward. Typically, Northern California remains calm when Southern California becomes active and the current pattern aligns with that trend. Southern California is presently experiencing heightened seismic unrest, whereas the northern region continues to register moderate tremors. In the extreme southern section of the Cascadia Megathrust Zone near the Mendocino Fault area, seismic activity remains persistent. Over the past month, this region has experienced an elevated number of earthquakes, approximately 64 in total including a notable magnitude 4.1 event. This area, which endured a powerful magnitude 7.0 earthquake last year, has shown consistent seismic movement both before and after that major event. 
underscoring its dynamic geological nature. Located at a geological junction known as the Mendocino Triple Junction, this area represents the interaction of three major tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate, the Gorda Plate, a smaller fragment of the Juan de Fuca Plate, and the North American Plate. The subduction of the Gorda Plate beneath the North American Plate creates intense geological stress, contributing to frequent seismic disturbances. This interaction results in a constant rebalancing of tectonic stress and strain, making the area one of the most seismically volatile locations in the western United States. Further seismic activity has also been recorded near the Blanco Fracture Zone to the northwest. This area recently experienced a sequence of earthquakes forming a tight cluster, which often signals stress transfer toward the southern Cascadia subduction zone. While surface activity along this southern segment may appear limited at the moment, geophysical evidence suggests accumulating stress and increasing tectonic momentum beneath the surface. Additionally, several shallow crustal earthquakes were reported in June within the Cascadia Fold and Thrust Belt. This region has not experienced a full margin rupture since the catastrophic megathrust earthquake over three centuries ago, approximately 325 years. The prolonged silence since that event is a stark reminder of the growing seismic potential that continues to build without release. Although large-scale earthquake activity has remained relatively subdued in recent years, the overall stress along the tectonic boundaries has not diminished. The most significant recent earthquake sequence in California occurred in 2019 when a magnitude 6.9 on July 4th was followed by a magnitude 7.1 quake the next day near Ridgecrest. While these events did not occur directly on the San Andreas Fault, they are closely tied to regional tectonic stress accumulation that originates from movement along the broader plate boundary. As of this update, Additional minor tremors continue to occur, including a magnitude 2.4 earthquake, signalling the persistent redistribution of tectonic stress. These smaller quakes, though often overlooked, are part of a larger pattern of geological pressure that could eventually culminate in more significant seismic events. Moreover, an intense earthquake swarm continues to persist beneath Mount Rainier with seismic instruments recording over 430 individual quakes concentrated within one to two miles below the summit. This depth range aligns with zones of increased fluid interaction above the main magma chamber, which lies approximately five to six miles beneath the volcano. Such swarms typically indicate that hydrothermal fluids are actively moving through fractures in the rock rather than magma itself pushing toward the surface. While the region is currently cloaked in dense wildfire smoke from blazes burning to the north, adding environmental stress to those living nearby, the seismic situation at Rainier remains closely monitored. Seismograph data shows continued minor quakes, including two notable events that registered magnitudes of 2.3. The consistent frequency and clustering of these small tremors suggest that stress is being released incrementally within the subsurface. Despite the growing number of quakes, GPS stations surrounding the mountain have not shown any signs of deformation that would point to magma rising toward the surface. If there were inflation, the data would reflect clear ground displacement patterns, but current measurements align closely with historical norms, showing no meaningful uplift. One seismograph station along the southern flank remains active, and its readouts also confirm a continuation of the swarm rather than any escalation toward an eruptive state. Mount Rainier is a relatively recently instrumented volcano, with modern monitoring efforts intensifying only since the 1980s. As such, historical comparisons to previous earthquake swarms are limited. While it has remained dormant for over a thousand years, the current seismic activity serves as a compelling reminder of the mountain's potential. The swarm's size, while significant, is not unprecedented among cascade volcanoes, and experts remain cautious but not alarmed. For now, the activity under Mount Rainier appears to be tectonic or hydrothermal in nature rather than magmatic, if any changes were to occur, such as rapid ground uplift or a shift in the swarm's depth profile, they would be rapidly detected by the dense seismic and GPS monitoring network in place. 
Until then, the volcano watches silently from the horizon, holding its secrets beneath layers of snow, ice, and ancient rock. The 4.3 magnitude quake that struck the San Andreas Fault isn't just another blip on the map, it's part of a growing swarm that has scientists and experts watching closely. This isn't random. When swarms erupt along a fault system as dangerous as this one, it raises serious questions about what could be building deep underground. Whether it's a release of stress or a warning sign of greater movement to come, one thing is certain. The San Andreas Fault is far from silent. If you found this video informative, like share and subscribe for real-time updates and expert analysis on seismic events unfolding across the globe, tap the notification bell so you're the first to know when the next earthquake strikes. Stay alert, stay informed, and above all, stay prepared.